What is up guys, Christian Vegas 64 here and today we will be talking about the SFL uh, DC Defenders losing two weeks in a row. Today joining me uh, for the first time we got Peyton Cash. Hello ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? We got Syntax Error. What's the Syntax Error, I'm saying. Yeah, we got the Rant King, Thomas Noble. And we got William Thompson. What's up, folks? And we also got Knight, but his mic is muted. So, boys, uh, no, care to... Not. Oh. oh. What? Oh. Hello, Knight. Hey. Oh, wow. Hey, Knight. Hi. Alright, so, uh, let's get things started. Well, so, what do you guys want to talk about during this situation? Okay. So the past, so the past two weeks, uh, an XFL team named the DC Defenders won the first two weeks in a row. But ever since week three, they lost to the, uh, the Los Angeles Wildcats, and they also lost to the Tampa Bay Vipers, which was projected the worst team in the XFL. But Tampa Bay have the best. Second best defense in the league. True. Yeah, and but 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 the, but they're now one in three he heading into week five. With, with literally, they've lost. The Vipers lost to the Guardians. They lost to the Dragons, and then last week they lost to the freaking Roughnecks, which are now the number one team inside of XFL. And, yeah. And now, they defeat the DC Defenders. Zero Which would have been the two, I believe, twenty-seven. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Thank you. But twenty-five yeah. to nothing. That's the first time DC has been shut out. Hmm. In history. Wow. Wait. Wait. That's the second shutout in the history. The first shutout was K. That is the first shutout was DC when they defeat New York. Now yep. DC has been shut out by Tampa Bay. And against LA too, remember? What? Oh. No, LA didn't wait, 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 hold on. Uh, LA, they look, wait. LA, no. LA destroyed them. Know, yeah, LA destroyed but, them. But, yeah, but what LA, I mean, out, I mean, they don't allow uh, any team to score. Yeah, but did you see the score for LA? So it was 39 to 9. But yeah, yeah but, that, but they didn't allow DC to score 9 points. True. Yeah. Yep. That is literally interesting. And now, but this is DC's for having shut out. That's the second shutout in XFL history. Hmm. Yeah, like, literally. Why is... If DC really loses well, next week in week five, we are literally going to, like, kick the doors down and literally punch the shit out of every single thing coming inside the XFL because, one, you literally botched a amazing team who, who, and I mean literal who, has been strong for two weeks because of freaking Cariel Jones, who has never been and defeated. And their defense. And their defense too. But, but, they lost in week three to the freaking L.A. Wait. L.A. Wildcats? I, I don't know. Not Los Angeles Wildcats, yes. They lost yeah. by... Thirty fucking points. And then, and then, and then, this past week, as recording this, they lost to the the, 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 the Bay Vipers, which are the worst team inside the XFL by twenty-five breaking point. Now, and they did not score any points. Oh boy! Like what the fuck? Like for real. You, like, you really don't even, ugh. Everyone, Christian, you don't understand how much
us all hang out, angry and home on because when we when we saw DC defenders, we we felt like they had the best defense ever inside the XFL. But well, now, what? But now heading to week five, we now have the freaking Houston Roughnecks at number one with freaking four and O. Oh. Which with the perfect quarterback of PJ Walker. And he's not a fucking human. He's a beast. He's a beast and he's a freaking robot. I don't, I, I, he's, a, he's a machine. I know. And Houston are projected as the favorites to win the XFL championship. That is a, that is a good one. Because we've never seen the eight. The championship before, like the championship trophy or something else, like that. Before. Yeah, but they're gonna show it like until the XFL championship game arrives, which is not until April. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so we got like uh, the whole month of March, and they're probably doing this April before the season's already over. And it turns out, this oh this this season of XFL is. Way, way better than the 2001 version. You tell me that. That's the better XFL season than what what Mr. McMahon has spoiled in 2001. Oh my God. We're we're not going to talk about the 2001 version because we know for a fact it is. Hmm. It was. It was even before I was born, so. So, that's basically all, that's basically all, all I ought to say about this, because the DC Defenders have to step up next week, or else they're going to be the worst team ever inside of XFL. But that's yeah, how it's going to be. Yeah, same as the Wildcats. Same as the Wildcats, of course. Yeah. Wildcats is not the worst. They just, like, won, like, how many games? One? I no, think. two. Actually, yeah. They want two? They want two. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. They're like two and two, I think. Yeah, it's two and two, I think. Hold on. Uh, that's on. Alright. Is that all? Lost. No, no, no. They are one and three. They're one and three. Nope. They're one and three. They only won one game, which is last week against the defenders, but I have something to say here. Alright. Go ahead. DC, and you don't step up your fucking A game next week, I will just literally come to, come to DC. I will come to Washington, DC. Bring Batista over and put Cardell Jones in a Batista bomb through a fucking table or through in a fucking Lincoln Memorial so you will not have a stupid, trashy team anymore. Oh boy. Oh. Alright. I guess that's, um, uh, no set. That's it? Yes. Alright. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And we will see you guys in the next one. Also, one more thing, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> what? Alright. Peace out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.